Sharon, hi. Sharon, any good news today? <laughs> Bill, hey, you'll have to speak up. I'm riding a bike. <laughs> uh, 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 dear God. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not on yet. Oh, I'm on now? Oh. Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Kenny, and thanks for checking out my new show. I have a show now! Who oh, no! My new show is about comic books and movies and video games. Welcome to Weiski TV, I'm your host, Kenny. I would like to talk to you about two comic books that just came out. One of which is Black Science. BAM! This is a great, great comic book from Rick Remender. This is issue number 34. This one is a really good one. It's one of my favorite comic books that's out right now. I highly recommend it. It's about interdimensional travel and being lost and trying to find your way back to Earth again. Do you think if I spin around really fast, I might travel through time? Lost in Space meets Fringe. Come on, 80s. Constant uh, chasing, it's great. It's running in terror from monsters. Good times, good times. Rick Remender is an incredibly talented man. He also does other works like Tokyo Ghoul, The Uncanny X-Force, and Deadly Arts. I love the artwork that Matteo Scalera is doing. He has so much on every panel. There's almost too much, so, uh, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful art. Look at that. Huh? That's sexy. Not as sexy as me, but <laughs> pretty close, right? <laughs> ben Hathaway's watching. Hey. Black Science Issue 34 is something you should uh, check out in your local comic book shop. Anne Hathaway, if you need a ride, I have a Sonata. You gotta check this one out. Now, this is issue number 34. It's going to end at issue 40. So, uh, I know the storyline's almost over with, but you can always catch up and trade paperback form. And I'm going to talk more about this later on in future videos. Are you paying attention to me or are you looking at my hat? I think I hit my head. I leave it on because I have no scalp. If I can see you, can you see me? But if you can see me, I can see you. That mole fell off, so that's good news. Oh, and there's another one. Is that thing even on? Another good one to check out, if you like Watchmen. Doomsday Clock, Issue 3. What if the world of the Watchmen were to collide with the DC Universe? They kind of mesh together, and they're colliding. Have a few drinks, make a baby, and that baby is this, right here. Mm -hmm. You've got Rorschach, and he's meeting up with Batman. All kinds of crazy shenanigans are happening. There's a giant uh, whodunit kind of aspect to it. It's still kind of mysterious. It's lemon lime, but it doesn't, that, what does that look like to you? That, mm, uh, we know Dr. Manhattan is behind some kind of interdimensional time shift. I'm not 100% sold on the storyline yet. It's sprinkling all the details of what's going to be a huge event. I love The Watchmen so much that I'm continuing to read it. There's going to be 12 issues altogether. At three issues in, I know it's going to start popping. Looking forward to what Jeff Johns has to bring to the table. He's a great, talented writer. He does some great work, including Green Lantern's Rebirth, the Black Lantern Saga. It's going to go bi-monthly starting in April. The artwork is incredible. Check this one out. Digest it. Put it in your brain hole. <laughs> this one and Black Science are my two recommendations of the week. Go to your local comic book store. Forget your taxes. You're not, you're just wasting your time. 
go to the comic book store right now and get those two comic books. I'll see you on the next week's video. Once again, this is Weiske TV. Check us out. Click on all those various things that I have available on the interwebs and the Instagrams and all the other things. Goodbye, everybody! I should probably turn this off. Is it that button right there?